Hi friends, in this video we can check how to transfer a website from one hosting plan to another hosting plan in Hostinger. Actually I am transferring a website from my shared web hosting to cloud hosting. This is the website which is I am going to transfer from my shared web hosting to my cloud web hosting. So first go to the control panel and click on backup. Here you can see the file backup. Just select that and select the file uh, download backup data. Click on that and select the prepare to download option. And wait for some time to get the download link. Once you get the download link, click on that and it will, it will be downloaded to your computer. Actually, it depends upon your website size. This is a simple site. That's why it's showing a low data. But after that, you have to download the database. Just go to the WP config on the file manager of your website. And you can see the database name over there. So just download that database from the backup section. And here you have to choose the database backup. And just download the database. Select the database date and click on prepare to download. and our database is also downloaded now just remove the website from the current hosting plan go to the website section and just remove that website from the plan okay now go to the new hosting plan and you can see there is a name server over there if you are using from another registration then you have to add that name server over there here also you have to add the new domain sorry the domain name website address over here and click on add website okay our website is added to the new hosting plan now you can see the website name over here which we are the new hosting plan now install wordpress on that new hosting plan select wordpress and fill all the details and just install wordpress okay once installed wordpress you can see The website is looking like this as we created earlier. Now go to the dashboard and just delete the WP content file folder from your file manager. Delete that. Now just extract the file which we are downloaded. The backup file we are downloaded. Just extract that. And you can see the folder here. Just open that folder. And you can see the domain section. And here you can see the domain. Just public HTML and the WP content. Just upload this folder to the file manager of our website. So just download that FileZilla for the FTP access download FileZilla you can see the FileZilla Pro option also you can do with the free option too just download the free option okay once you download the FileZilla just install the FileZilla on your computer actually I already installed so just i am updating this file silla 
Just click on next and just installed. Click on next and wait for some time to get installed. Okay, once you finish that, just click on the finish option and our file Scylla is opened and here you have to add the host, username, password and port. So just to get to your these things, just go to the FTP accounts on your control panel and you can see all these details here. If you don't know the password, you can change the account password to a new one and you can add over there. Just add all these things and click on Quick Connect. Quick Connect. Now it's connected to our file manager and you can see our website files on the file Scylla section. Now we are going to upload the downloaded backup file to this file manager. Just select the WP content folder and right click and you can see the upload option. Just click on upload and it's uploading. It will take some time according to your website size. So you have to wait till everything finish. If you have a big website then it will take lot of time. So you have to wait till the till it finish. Okay, once you finish that go to the MySQL database and import the database. Select the PHP My Admin. Click on Enter PHP My Admin. And just click on Import. And choose File. And just upload the backup database which we are downloaded click on go and now our database also imported now we can go to the ST access file of our website and just edit this you will get the default HTTP HT, default HTTP HT access file from our website which is WP hacks for you the link I will give in the description box below you can download get it from there and you can just copy the HT access file and paste it over there and click on save and now go to your website and just refresh okay that's all for today thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel